uh, Cruncho versus Clubberdan. The Zelda player who we saw earlier made it all the way to winner's finals before falling in the hands of Dynamites, who awaits one of the two of them in loser's finals. Good drag down up air from Cruncho to begin things and gain the first 20%. Good up tilt from Dan as a response, although Joker has an up tilt of his own. Cruncho is not afraid to show it off. Arsene almost out. He's going to dash back and forth and wait out the shield as well. Arsene just moments away. Down throw. And that trade will bring him out. Forward throw from Zelda. Charges the Dark Knot, but doesn't get him fully charged before Marcho manages to destroy it. Cumberdam now in a bit of a predicament. Reflects back the Egg Aeon. Well done. Forward throw from Zelda. Just out of lane. And that lighting arrow. The Egg Aeon will get rid of the Dark Knight, but won't connect with the main target. Cover safely, the forward throw sent right back, and the back air from Cruncho. So, so clever. He thought he'd, you know, disguise some of his options for the guns earlier. He chasing with a grappling hook, but that time he just went straight for the juggler. Down throw into an approaching aerial. The up tilt catches Clubber Dan as it is trying to land. And Dan already on 75% with no signs of this stock ending. Although if he gets hit with a back there, it may happen sooner than we expect. Already the rebellion is about 85% full and right before it can fill up, Clubber Dan just finds the back there in the nick of time. Gets him with the forward smash as well. Just that's gonna trade, and that's not a trade you want to take if you're Dan. Arsene is out in one moment. Here he comes. Egeon is gonna pressure uh, Clubber Dan from just returning to the platform directly. Good, uh, good call out with the up -E directly from the platform and then falling down back air off of the platform will seal it out before things get two out of hand. Reflects away the grappling hook. A little no you know, a little known and even little used play from a lot of Zelda players. You know, typically you expect approaching projectiles, you know, think think uh Think blasters, think guns that get reflected, but the forward smash calls him out in neutral, and that's enough to take game one of Losers Finals seemingly out of nowhere. You know, there wasn't there wasn't a particular combo that had led him up to it. There wasn't too much positioning or conditioning. It was just a straight read on the part of Cruncho, and it paid off. So Cruncho taking game one against Clubber Dan Zelda. Dan certainly you know, visibly frustrated. He knows he can do better, especially in a matchup where he, you know, he no doubt spends a lot of time practicing. Good landing there, and the reflector up close. Gets Dan out of the hole. Good spot dodge from Cruncho, meanwhile. The Dark Knot will get him out of a jump, but Arsene comes out. And the back air sends him across the stage. If he was at the stage, that might have been the end of his stock. Another back air. Yup, that'll do it. Lands two sweet spotted back airs in the space of about five seconds. Dan is looking already a lot better. Whatever was afflicting him in that first stage, especially with that last stock, seems to be gone now. Playing a lot more confidently. Three, two reflectors, and I'm not sure what that stalling option is. That's going to be just food in the air. The Cruncho. Chow down on. The down throw from Zelda into the back air. Going to fill up the rebellion cage. Again, on gets rid of his Dark Knight and gets him twice with that option. A couple 
of approaching aerials. Down air. Not up air follow ups that he was looking for. Although a half charge Dark Knight. That's certainly more than enough. Gets the down air spike as well with style. With all the style that Zelda has. And now the down air. Or the down throw. It's a second down throw. Just text right and text inward on the platform. Floats right above the F smash as well. That's opportune. That could have been the end of Grub stock at 79. How is Dan going to make it back? Answer, he won't. Gets hit with the second down air spike of the match. Just a quick and, quick and meaningful response from Dan. As if to say, watch me do it again. You know, there, there's just this mental habit of thinking your opponent, oh, they've gone for one edge guarding option they surely they're they're gonna try and bury it up right but no Dan sticking to the same script that got him that second stock and it rewards him with game two of losers finals into game three two spot dodges coming out very early another one from Cruncho dash attack from him and the forward tilt from Dan Dark Nut doing its work bringing out Arsene down his bike this time on stage. And there, and Joker covers so much, of course, that he just gets hit by the guns as a punishment for even attempting it out there. Good back air from Dan. From uh, Cruncho, rather, on Dan. Flex it as well. And the back air, perfectly spaced, just connects it directly into the sweet spot right into Joker's abdomen. And rapid jab just gonna meet the shield and the forward smash as a punish. Joker forced to air dodge back. One down throw to back air combo, almost going to entirely fill up the rebelling cage. As that Arsen powered F tilt will almost keep him there. Waits out the reflector as well, but just times the punish. And the half charge, Dark Knight once again gets him off stage. Gets him once again with a weak hit of down air. Back throw. Clubber Dan, a stock ahead, half to play like it. Gets him with the back door again, that'll kill. That'll secure the stock. Three stocks to one at this point. Dan looking very good. Seems to have put all the game one demons behind him. Good up tilt twice in a row. Finds another Nair, great read. Although misses the grab, and this time at 187%, just barely hanging on. Arsen about to come out as well. And the four tilt without Arsen. Even without Arsen, that'll do it. But speaking of Arsen, there he is. Egeon just reflects it away and just stalls that falling speed just enough to the point where Clubber Dam would not get hit by the back air as well. Cruncho is in massive trouble now. Gets back to stage with the up special. Drag down up air through the platform. Catches him with the grappling hook once again. Crunch, uh, Cruncho has been accurate with that, even if the rest of his neutral hasn't been spectacular in game three. Gets back to stage with the up special again. He has been great with angling those. So often we just see Zelda you know, get those angles wrong and float down too low, float down too high, and eat a punish, but Clubber Dan hasn't missed one thus far. Down air spike into the up air. Wow, between the two platforms, I've just nowhere to go from there. No DI would have saved him. 
recognizing the situation just in time for him to get the up air finisher. Game four. And Dan is just one game away from his rematch with Dynamite in Grand. Doesn't, we don't see a character switch, so, you know, no confidence shaken within the Joker. He does have the hero he's been using earlier, but that proved ineffective for some of the later stages, even though he did get a win on screen with it. Good drag. He's had three drag down up airs in the space of about 15 seconds. And all of that has just been mitigated by one dash attack or one back air. Uses an up special on the stage. Down air spike. And egg on. Keep this percentage climbing and climbing. Good back air. And gets him with a weak hit of down air. He will be able to recover. He just floats up too high, but not worry. He makes it back safely. Gets him with a regular a hot now. The forward tilt send him towards the black zone. Not all the way. Both characters grabbing the ledge at almost the exact same time. The dash attack from Cruncho. Falling back air. a hot And good... Good decision to just skip the theatrics, go right back to the ledge. Although he won't find the reward he desires, Cruncho will seal the first off and claim first blood in game four. We're gonna see perhaps a down throw or a forward throw in fact. Up tilt will not reach through the platform to Zelda. But that up tilt will connect anyway. We hit a back air. Back throw. Crunch not enough to find a follow up off of. How will Clubber down respond? He now has safe control, but not for much longer. Joker's dash attack doesn't seal the deal. Now we'll just have undoubtedly a back throw. That kills, and that kills emphatically. Although, speaking of emphatic kills, Cruncho, with a forward smash of his own, takes a stock lead in game four. He's brought it back. Spot dodges out of the first part of that attack, but that hitbox so active on Zelda's part. It's a drag down up air, but not too worried. You can tell he wanted the down air spike again, although Joker's invincibility is still there for the up special. Four tilt and reflects the egg on clutch. And now he wants the back air off stage, gets the forward snack instead. Killed him at about 60%. Right. That's that's unspeakably powerful from Cruncho. And he takes it to a decisive game five. So we're gonna see Battlefield as the venue. Perhaps uh you know Clubber Dan figuring I if I'm going for some of these teleport back to the stage mix-ups. Might as well do it in a place where I won't get punished if I go too high. Game five. This is for a spot in grand finals against Dynamite. Clubber Dan seeking direct revenge from what happened in winners finals. While Cruncho looking to meet him in bracket for the first time today. So far it's Cruncho who has the better start. Taking about 30% off of Dan. Although Dan responds with 50 additional percent, bringing him to 61 and almost filling up the Rebellion Gauge. Down throw up into an attempted back air. Attempted narrow. That might have been a misinput, because I don't believe that's true. Four kill from Tony Zelda. Dan's play has been so good as he just throws out some of these up airs. 
through the platforms. He knows these options that he can and will have at his disposal. Misses with a grappling hook twice. Over the back air. Two frames in with the Aha, interestingly enough. Zelda will be getting more and more percent. Go long, that will do it. Smash attack from Cruncho before any percent is taken off. And a slight lead to begin the second stock as well. Luke gets the down air spike on the stage. That will stun him just enough to the point where he can get a bear follow up. Forward tilt. Dan covers the platform at the moment for the explosive in the back up too. Good tech from Club, I believe, but no, that forward smash for the second time this series. Always a good option if your opponent is not paying attention. Has just that much more range without send. Although that forward smash is deadly as well. And now we're on to last stop of Losers Finals. So far, Cruncho has the percent lead. Down air spike into the down tilt. Spot dodges out of the way, as does Cruncho. Reflectors that gain, gain stage control. Arsene will be coming out momentarily. There he does. Forward tilt. Good up air from Clubberdan. Wants another, doesn't get it. Back air from Cruncho will come out this time. Egg on. Misses with the forward smash, although the back throw into the Aegeon, not connecting on the second half. Gets the shield break as well, and that'll do it. Throws out the throws out the taunt as well. Cruncho. Looking cool, Cruncho. That's all I have to say. Cruncho will be getting his matchup with Dynamite the two seed in grand finals. So just getting a pat on the back there as well. So so well done from Cruncho to just recognize that shield was looking kind of low. 